So how should students get involved in this area of research or science in general? Uh, what a student wants and what a student needs are really two things. Nah, three things. A good mentor, a great environment, and some terrific ideas. And a good mentor is, well, self-evident. You know, you want to work with somebody who has been able to shepherd other people ahead as students to go on to the next level, what they wanted to do. And that matters because, you know, in science, if it was easy, everybody would have a PhD in six months. I can tell you right away, it doesn't take six months. It could take four to five years because it's not easy. And the hard part isn't the successes, is the, the multiple failures to achieve that success. You know, all the great inventors in history, Edison, all those guys, they stumbled and fell quite a few times before they got some big eureka thing. And that's the hard part. And you need somebody that can mentor you through the hard parts as well as the good parts. The environment matters. You know, the physical space, the lab, the people in the lab, access to enabling equipment, resources. And the idea, what, are, what, what does a lab work on? Is that something that fires you up? So you have to do your due diligence. You know, what has the lab published or produced in the past three years? What they did 30 years ago doesn't matter. So what have you, they done recently? Show me what you've done recently. That predicts what will, what they did in the past three years predicts what they're going to do in the next three years. And then you can have some of your own ideas. So, mentor environment, ideas, that's what matters.